Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this post. Do you know what the worst thing is? The worst thing is that you're, you're doing it, not just that you're doing it, but you're carrying shoulders while you're doing it. You know, we, me, myself, I grew up in a country, in an atmosphere where they say we should respect our elders. But honestly, some of our elders do not deserve respect anymore. Some of our elders do not respect, do not deserve respect anymore. Do you know why? Because they do not respect themselves. That is just it. They don't respect themselves. Do you know what? Somebody cannot be calling you their fa your father. You cannot tell me you're my father and at the same time you want to look at my ass. It is not possible. Yeah? They say that a child with clean hands can dine with elders. In the same vein, if an elder does not respect themselves, you will use the same hand that you use to clean your nyash to, to shake their hand. If an elder does not respect themselves, you will use that same hand that you use to clean your nyash to shake their hand. That is where we are now. Because simply because they have refused to respect themselves. Eh? They are coming, they are talking up and down, saying all kinds of things. Eh? Sim why? Simply because they want to be looking at you. Looking at you in a way that they shouldn't be looking at you. I know that I'm not the only one because they never ever do these things in isolation. If they have done it to one person, they have done it to 10 more, because that is simply how they operate. If you are an elder who does not want to respect themselves, anything that you see, take it like that. You deserve it. I'm going to say it again, because this is my phone. I am living in my house. They're coming saying, uh, who gave you permission to do this, this and that? Why? Because I put something on my phone to cover it, to give myself just a modicum of privacy. The people that you're fighting for the most, they are the ones who want to fight you the most. Eh? If you don't respect yourself, I will use the same hand that I used to wipe my nyash to, 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 to greet you. That is what I will do. Anybody that does not want to respect themselves, anything that you see, take it like that. You deserve it. Yeah, why? Because they are so addicted to watching people in a manner in which they shouldn't be watching people. The place where you are, somebody put you. That place where you are sitting now, somebody put you there. No man can elevate himself. It is only God that elevates man. Whatever a man has, I say this almost every other day, whatever a man has, he has it because of God. We all worship the same God. Unless there is something else that you are worshipping if there's anything else that you are worshipping, let me know. Me, I worship God. Day and night, it is God that I worship. Hmm? I call him ceaselessly. Sometimes I even say to him, Abba Father, I know I've been calling. He says, call on me in all things, call on me. Hmm? What is the problem? I changed my hairstyle. Somebody gave me some change. What is the problem? Hmm? I deserve to eat what you're eating. Maybe I even deserve it more than you. Hmm? They're coming, they're talking all kinds of things. This is the first of the month. I want to hear positive things. Anybody that doesn't have anything positive to say, please forget about me. Forget about me. If they say they don't want me to come back to their country, fine. I will not come back to their country. If that is how they are feeling, it will not prevent me from doing my job. Hmm? Anytime you talk about going back home, it's as, it's as if you want to go back to a foreign land. Not as if you want to go back to your own home. Huh? If you say you don't want me to come back to, to Nigeria, I will talk to my God. If God says don't come back to Nigeria, then I will not come back to Nigeria. But it will not prevent me from doing the work, the work that the Almighty has ordained me to work. What is it? Huh? What is it? Only one thing that you said that I will agree with you, we are our own problem because we are always fighting the people who are trying to help us. Hmm? It always seems as if it is the people who are trying to elevate us that we want to downpress the most. What is it? I was willing for so many years. Nobody told me. Nobody told me. 
I was talking with them, I was laughing with them, I was relating with them. None of them told me that I was winning. Why? Just so that I would not be happy. Huh? What is it? Huh? What is it? There is more than enough for everybody. Fact. Proven fact. There is more than enough in this world for everybody to enjoy, to eat and be happy about it. So what is the problem? What is the problem? Eh? Sometimes when I feel like dressing up, I dress up, I wear a new wig. I just bring out some of my clothes just to flex myself, to ginger myself, to feel nice. Some people will want to kill themselves. What is this? Eh? What is this? Eh? What is your problem? You have so much. You have so much. But for you to give another person, it is a problem. Mm? Chop make I chop, you not reach your side. What is your problem? God, please, don't let anybody raise my temperature this month. Today, 1st of February. If they don't want me to come back to their country, mm? let me call it their country. If they say they don't want me to come to their country, fine. There are so many other places in the world that I can go to. Ah, what is it? Hmm? Who gave me the spiritual power to turn off the light? When I covered my phone so that I can have just one minute of privacy in my own house where I live. Is it your house? It is not your house. It is my house. I have a right to do whatever I want in my house because it's my house.